Suppose a stock drops in value by 60% one week, then increases in value the next week by 75%. Is the value higher or lower than when it started? Let's learn. We first noticed the first word says so the stock drops, key term here, by 60% one week. Then the next part here, then it increases in value the next year by 75%. We want to find at the end, is this value lower or higher than the initial amount? Do we know what the initial stock price is? No. Does it matter? No. So if it doesn't matter for this problem here, what the initial stock price is, because we're just comparing what it is from beginning to end, let's just create a value that's easy for us to see. So let's say the stock starts at $100. $100. After the first week, it drops by 60%. So we take the initial value minus, excuse me, a 60% drop. So that's the minus here. And 60% as a decimal is 0 0.6. And we want to multiply that by the initial amount, 100. So for writing this out, we have 100 here. Minus 0 0.6 times 100 is 60 or $60. So after one week, we take 100 minus 60, we have the stock after one week is $40, one week. Then after that, it increases by 75%. So we start now, imagine, kind of ignore everything we did in the past. We have a stock that's $40, and if it increases by 75%, we take that $40 and add the 75% as a decimal, 0 0.75 times this amount, $40. From there, well, let's keep the $40 here, plus, and 0 0.75 uh, times 40, 0 0.75 times 40, is $30. Right there. So now 40 plus 30 added together is $70, and that's after two weeks. Okay? So the question they asked us here, is the value higher or lower than when it started? Well, we started with a hypo hypothetical value of $100, and by doing our calculations, it ended up being only $70. And we can say that 100 is clearly greater than 70 Okay, so is the value higher or lower than when we started? The answer is the value is lower than when it started. I hope you learned something here, and as always, thanks for watching.